The Prince of Wales looked suitably cool in the Caribbean sunshine today, as the royal donned a pair of sunglasses as he met marine cadets during to his visit to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Prince Charles, 70, and Camilla, 71, are currently on a 12-day tour of the Caribbean, and were greeted by school children as they arrived on the island. Camilla carried a light parasol to keep the sun from her face in the 30 degrees Celsius heat and later she even enjoyed a sample of passion fruit rum. The Duchess of Cornwall had a shock after swigging some very strong rum and was left exclaiming, blimey! That packs a punch! Camilla came across the famous Caribbean spirit when she strolled through some local craft stalls set up in a local school she visited. The Duchess said to vendor Mitch Kerr Edwards, I might have to try one. Is it very strong? She selected a passion fruit flavor, which was 40% alcohol content. As she took a sip of the spirit, served straight with no ice, her eyes widened and she exclaimed, Blimey! That packs a punch! The Duchess of Cornwall also visited St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College to join a round table on domestic violence and to meet female entrepreneurs. Camilla wore a baby pink caftan with balloon sleeves and a light white detailing. She paired the mid-length top with white trousers, and carried a light parasol and straw bag. The prince looked cool in a grey suit, with a light pink tie and grey and black striped tie. He finished off the outfit with a pair of trendy sunglasses. The royals have already visited St. Lucia and Bridgetown on their tour, which will also take in an historic trip to Cuba later this month the first by a member of the British royal family. Waiting to meet the couple at the bottom of the steps of the RAF Voyager ministerial jet was the country's governor-general Sir Frederick Ballantyne, the Queen's representative in the country. Nearby was the Commonwealth nation's Prime Minister Ralph Gonsalves, known as Comrade Ralph to many in his country. He campaigned in a 2009 referendum to have the Queen, his country's head of state replaced with an elected president but a majority of voters rejected the proposal. Mr. Gonsalves, who has been in power since 2001, has forged ties with Cuba, Venezuela and Iran as he has tried to diversify the economy away from banana production. When Camilla met the Duke of Cornwall and Kingstown Vegetable Market, they went on a walkabout shaking hands with local shoppers surprised to see the royals, whose visit was unannounced. A group of young girl guides were very excited, but they thought they were about to meet the Queen. One asked Camilla, Queen Elizabeth, do you have a castle? After Camilla put them straight, the unimpressed group moved on to Charles who was a few meters behind his wife and asked him, where's the Queen, I don't get it. She's not here I'm afraid, replied a bemused heir to the throne. One man got a bit overexcited and started shouting at the prince. We want to take you to the beach. Local sports mascot Anga 7, known as Sappy, was wearing an outfit in the national colors of St. Vincent, yellow, green and blue, complete with a multicolored hat and he waved his nation's flag. Charles posed for a picture with Sappy, who for almost 30 years has been geeing up crowds whenever a local cricket, netball or cricket team is playing. He said, Charles said he liked my jersey and he liked my hat and the flag. He asked if I played football, I used to be a goalkeeper but I'm retired. Earlier in the day they met and smiled at school children in the crowds. Many of the pupils waved Union Jacks alongside the flag of the island. Later, the Prince of Wales visited a conservation project at the Prospect Brighton Mangrove Park. The Royal unveiled an information board in the park. Charles went on to meet with Marine cadets and graduates of the Youth Development Summer Program. People lined the coastline as he visited the Coast Guard station, and was shown around by guards on duty. During their tour, Charles and Camilla will also visit St. Kitts and Nevis, Grenada and the Cayman Islands. Meanwhile, Camilla was snapped drinking passion fruit from while visiting St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College. The Royal who was still carrying her trusty parasol, grinned from ear to ear as she drank a small shot of the liquor. She posed for photographs with students of the college, who performed and danced for the Duchess in intricate costume. She was greeted by a dance presentation by the La Gracia Dance Company and Arabesque Dance Company at St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College. 
the Duchess went on to join a round-table discussion on domestic violence at the college. Later the royals went on to attend a wreath-laying ceremony together in Kingstown. They met girls who were part of the Worldwide Association of Girl Guides, before the Prince of Wales laid a wreath at a cenotaph memorial in Kingstown. The couple also met with local entrepreneurs in a market, where one even kissed Camilla's hand in a friendly greeting. The prince shared a joke with a local group of schoolgirls, who looked overcome with emotion as they met the prince, with one clutching onto a union flag as they all laughed. Later, Prince Charles visited a botanical garden while on his visit and was photographed with a tropical bird perched on his hand. Charles was also snapped doing a little gardening at the gardens, where he got his hands dirty with a shovel and watering can. He also popped into the town's cathedral, St. George's, where he was received by local priests. Meanwhile the Duchess of Cornwall gave a speech at St. Vincent's Girls High and was photographed presenting an award to a girl guide. Later, the royals attended a reception with the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines Ralph Gonsalves at his official residence. They exchanged gifts with the Prime Minister during the reception at his house. Charles is also said to be keen to discuss the impact of climate change in the area, having already spoken about the issue in St. Lucia. Speaking about the global threat posed by climate change the prince said, Importantly, the Commonwealth brings us together and gives us the means to harness shared opportunities, as well as to address common challenges. There is no greater challenge facing all of us, in my view, than that of global warming and climate change which, I know, poses nothing short of an existential threat to this island as it does to every part of this region.